microphone. So we're just going to play with it tonight. Can anybody let me know? I don't want to be like bursting your speakers loud, but I also don't want to be too quiet either. So let me know how it's for you. I, I have done a couple of sound tests uh, with it and I have filmed a couple of times with it already, um, but I have not yet gone live with this microphone. So it may need a little bit twe of tweaking tonight, but with the housekeeping out of the way, hello, welcome, we're back, it's 2022, hello, hello to everybody that was with us last year, hello to all of our new members, we are so happy to have you here, I am Laura, um, <clears throat> I like to do tutorials, um, I'm not a professional, I don't class myself as a professional, I've never called myself a professional, those that have been around for long enough now know that um, I make plenty of mistakes. Um, and they always seem to happen when I'm live. So, <laughs> I, I just, I do it because I like it. People learn from it. We're all here to learn. We're all here to have fun. So that's why I do what I do. But, uh, it's been about two and a half months since we did go live. Um, or what, is it longer? No, November, we, we, we did the teacher appreciation series in, what's it, November? See, it's, it's been a while, <laughs> but that, that was our last. This is our cup. So if you are playing along at home, uh, you will need a skinny's work best, but it's not necessary to have a skinny. You will need a tumbler that is pr um, prepped, which to, when we say prepped, we mean sanded, washed and dried and ready for spray paint, and then we spray it. Uh, I have used the Aussie Export Matte White on this cup. Um, you will also need acrylic paints. At least three colours work best, but you can do a whole entire rainbow if you want. Um, and a beaded necklace. Now, I get my, my mum volunteers in an op shop. So, if you can't get any where you are, PM me and I'll see if I can hook you up. But like the old lady beads, right, the necklaces... Dep you will have to buy a variety of like bead sizes and figure out what works best for you. Um, do I have... No, I don't. I was going to say, if I have a measuring tape, I'd say maybe 2 mil is what I'm using tonight. Um, but just a beaded necklace from an op shop. If you can't get it from an op shop, maybe try like the reject shop or something. Um, but if you haven't seen it, it was a TikTok trend for a little while, uh, about mid last year, but it is the method where we use the necklace and the paint to create that really cool effect. So we're kicking off 2022 with something that is pretty simple, um, in the process of it, um, which I thought was a good way to, to kick off the year. Um, but it's also, uh, pretty limitless, right? So tonight I'm using pinks and purples um, but like I said you can do an array of different colors right and you can do every different color combo you can think of and probably still not do as many color combos as you can come up with doing this method right so yes it's simple but it is very effective and it is very um, widespread isn't the right word but I don't have my words with me tonight because I'm very nervous because I have not gone live in a while <laughs> Um, I did, I tried to do a warm up last week and go live for like my little customer group and try and do a warm up that way so that I could get back into the swing of things and that didn't go according to plan. So instead of relieving my anxieties, I think I just added to them last week, but that's where we're at. I am using a 20 ounce kit. Oh, <clears throat> if you are new here, hello, I've already said hello to you, but we've got more people jumping on. Hello. So, I will go back through at the end. If I remember tonight, I will do it tonight. If I don't remember tonight, I promise I will do it tomorrow. Um, and add everything that I use in the tutorial to the description of this video. Lives are always saved for replay. Uh, so you can go back and watch again. And eventually this will also end up on the YouTube channel. Um, so that you don't have to go all the way through. I'm getting a broadcast error, but it is very windy and gross at my house. So if I do drop out, can somebody please message me and just be like, hey dickhead, you're not live anymore? 
Whoa. Okay, so I've prepped and spray painted my cup and now I'm dropping my paint and we're off to a very strong start. But the paints I'm using tonight, I'm only going to use three. Where'd my pink go? Because I haven't done this colour combo before. Okay, <clears throat> and admittedly, I've only ever done this method four times. One of those times was a fail. Okay, and it wasn't the first time. It was the third time. It was a fail. So, it does take practice. It's simple, but it does take practice. Trisha, this is the Aussie Export Matte White. You can get it from Super Cheap Auto. Um, I Some of their gloss paints are really hard to work with, um, but... Super cheap often has a sale. It used to be four cans for ten, but now it's like three cans for nine ninety nine. So you lose a can now. It's three cans for ten bucks still. Um, but I wait till they have the deals on, and then I get like three cans of white and three can the matte white and three cans of matte black when they've got the special on, and then that ties me over. Um, so yeah, it's. I know some people have a problem with it, but it's my favourite base paint. I like the mattes. I don't like the glosses as much. Um, hi vet, you're just in time. So you need your paints, you need your beaded necklace, you need your prepped cup, you do need a turner. Um, <clears throat> I did try, I thought, you know, the faster the better. Uh, so if anybody has the old DJ and raw turners that turned it like the double speed, um, to a rotisserie, I have tried it on that. I thought it would be easier. Um, it, I suppose it depends on how your brain works. I panicked. I was like, oh my god, it's moving so... Right? <laughs> and that was the time that I failed. <clears throat> so I find that the rotisserie motors, because they're slow, right, as long as you keep a steady hand, you'll be right. Um, usually I have it, like, set up over here in front of me where I can put my elbows on the table. My grandmother would kill me. Um, but I put my elbows on the table and try and keep it right. Um, but because I'm working over here tonight, I don't have I don't have anywhere to put my left elbow. So we're going to see how we go, right? So if, if I pull it off, then, you know, high five Laura. But if I don't pull it off, you're still going to get the idea for you to have a go, okay? <laughs> um, and if all else fails, like you can, because this is spray paint, you can wipe it off with paper towel and a baby wipe and then just go and give it a rinse in the sink and then wait for it to dry and go again. It's not... The stripping process, if it all goes wrong, isn't as um, tragic as if you had to do it with resin. Right, and then obviously once it's completely dry, um, I spray seal it. Um, and then I add a little bit of like a microfine glitter or a pearly pigment powder into my resin just to give it a little bit of a sparkle. And then I do my final coat over the top of that. Just shaking my pants. Paints I'm using tonight are all from Spotlight. I like them for this method because they've got the little, like, controlled spout bit. Um, so we're going in with the Semco Passion Purple, the Semco Fun Fuchsia, and this one is Cherry Blossom Pink by Deco Art, but they're all from Spotlight. But any acrylic paint will work. And I think I want more of the light pink. So I'm going to go pink, fuchsia pink, purple pink, and so on. Okay. So let's see if I can do this where you're still... I propped you up far enough tonight so that I wouldn't get in your way even if... Oh, I want to go in the other way. Going towards you guys. Yeah, there we go. Just little slow squeezes. The lines don't have to be straight. Um, because we're going to mess up the lines anyway. Line one. Hi, Karen. I shouldn't be taking up too much of your night tonight. This is pretty, like I said... It's a pretty simple process, but I've been wanting to do a live on this for a while. But it seems too simple, 
Like that last year we were doing like compacted mini series and beginner series and all kinds of right. So something like this seemed a little bit too simple for the theme of last year, but I thought it was a good way to kick off the new year, especially since we have a lot of newbies in the group. put pink down oh. maybe if I bring the purple down a little bit more I can fit that pink in because I've used this pink this dark fuchsia pink I have used that on one of these cups before um, with another color combo and I did find it was very aggressive when we move on to the necklace bit. Anybody that works with alcohol inks, right? You know how when you add the silver or the gold and it just takes over and invades the rest of... That's what this pink does. Same culprit. Please let me know if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, it's not tedious. I mean, it's because it's so slow to rotate. It's a little bit long-winded. But we're getting there. And you don't want to be stingy with your paint either. Okay, I'm getting... Oh, you can't see. Hey, dear Laura. I'm getting a lot of drips coming off as the paint comes around. Right, that's fine. The more paint, the more you're going to have to move... Whoops, that wasn't very straight. The more you're going to have to move when we get into the next part. I don't know. I'm kind of second guessing my colour choices. I was going to play it safe and do something that I'd done before. There's a big gloopy bit. Yuck. Get off my cup. Um, I was going to play it safe and do a colour combo that I'd done before. But. Then I found this purple. It was this purple. I found it right at the bottom of my... I've got, like, you know those um, fabric storage cubes? I've got all of my paint in them. And I found it down the bottom and I was like, Ooh, I like purple. So how many do we have playing along tonight? Do we have anybody doing this while I'm doing this? Or has anybody done this before? And if you've done it before, what colours did you use? And if you haven't done it before, is it something that you want to try? Lindy! I was supposed to message you the other day and I forgot, but I will message you later. You and I need to have a chat. About stuff and things. And stuff and things. But I'm so glad that you're here tonight. I've missed you. It's been a long holiday period. Karen, that's fine. Um, I'm not sure if you were here at the very beginning, um, but I did mention all of our lives we save for replay, not just mine, but like all of us. Um, all of the admin team go live when we can. Um, and we always save it for replay so that you can come back and watch it later. Oh, I reckon I can fit one more purple in. And then I've got just about a full pattern. Oh, isn't that lovely when it all works out? A broken light socket. 
Do you, well, obviously you don't mean the bowl. Do you mean like the whole connection shot or just the, the cover? Lindy needs a smack to bottom. We all do. I was supposed to have this done last week, but I pushed you all back a week and took an extra week of holidays. Because, well, for no other reason than I, I was very, very nervous to go live again after being off for so long. When you do it all the time, it, it becomes routine. And then when you have a break, you start to doubt yourself and your abilities. Well, I do. I'm a very self-critical person, so I do. Ta-da! We have all our lines on, though. I really hope... That's so pretty. I really hope that this works. It's this pink that worries me. If anything's going to stuff it up, it's going to be that pink. Alright, so... Your necklace... I've used this one before, but your necklace you want to cut... Right, so it becomes one long string rather than a necklace. Right, you wrap it. Ah, I wrap it around my fingers so that I've got like I can pull it tight, like so. Right, and then it really is just a case of putting it on the tumbler and going back and forwards. Is that noise coming through the microphone? I think I could make some serious cash on some ASMR videos with that. Can you hear that? Okay, so I'm going around again because I do have some bare spots. At the top here. Add more. I'll wait till it comes around again. Ta da! Isn't that cool? <laughs> as long as it doesn't move too much, I'm just going to add more pink around the top here because we've got some bald spots going on. Now, I've got to try and do this in a way. Right, can you see what I'm doing with the two fingers rather than the hand? I just want to do this top bit. I don't want to stuff up the rest of the design. I just want to fill in. but it's basically oh this side's a little bit hmm, that's where the name's going I've just decided <laughs> -da! I'll turn the light off so there's no reflection there's still a reflection you get the juice maybe I should add some more purple up here what do you reckon I don't want to play with this I'm really happy with this um But that's very plain there, isn't it? What do you reckon? Should I add a little bit of purple? I just don't, don't want to do it in a way where it's going to stuff it. And then we're going to be sitting here going, Laurie had to touch it. You won't do it. I won't do what? I won't muck it up. Is that what you mean? I won't do what? Maybe just, we're going to regret this, aren't we, guys? I feel like we're going to regret this. Shh. Think positively. I'm trying. I've had an afternoon. <laughs> you know where you
you just have and, and I can't complain because it wasn't a whole day right I, I should be fair it wasn't a whole day it was just a really shitty afternoon I should have thought positively, that's not too bad. I can't see what I'm doing with my right hand. We'll have to look at how much I messed that part up in a second. But... We'll let that resettle. Ta-da! See? Super simple, huh? Just to recap, Belinda, because we're pretty much done now. Um, acrylic paints. Um, tumbler that you've prepped and sprayed white. I mean, you could do black. I did white. But you spray the base, right? Um, you need at least three colours for acrylic paints. Um, but you can do as many colours as you like. Um, I just did three tonight because I wanted to try this colour combo. Um, and like an old, I don't want to say old ladies because I don't want to offend anybody, but you, like, my grandmother used to wear these, so that's why I used to share it with old ladies in church, right, but the plastic beads, um, if you can't find plastic, uh, I don't, I think Bunnings sells it, but like the same thing, but metal, right, that works as well, um, I get my, my mum volunteers at an op shop, so I get mine from her op shop. Um, reject shop has them, costume shops have them, right? For what you're using it for, I wouldn't go spend in a bundle, honestly. Um, they don't need to be very big. They've just got to be long enough so that if you wrap it around both hands once, you still have enough to cover whatever size cup or bottle or whatever you're doing, right? Um, and yes, you can wash them. Uh, it is a lot easier to wash them when they are still wet. And no, don't use the family... Oh, don't use the pearls. Oh, you can't use the pearls. You can use the fake pearls that you tell everybody are real. But you can't use the real ones. Not the inheritance pearls. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can wash them. They're a lot easier to wash uh, when the paint is still wet rather than dry. Uh, don't ask me how I know that because I'm sure you can figure out how or not. But, um, yeah. So, things I've learnt from doing this a few times. At least three colours work. Uh, two colours sucks. Um, it just becomes like a big muddy mess. And there's no definition to the pattern at all. So, at least three colours. Um, up to as many as you can fit on the cup. Go for gold. Experiment. Um, the shorter the... <laughs> I, I don't know how to say this without my mind having a giggle. <laughs> but the shorter the stroke, the shorter the zigzag pattern. The longer the stroke, the more you're going to meddle your colours together. Right? So tonight I was only doing right little. I've tried going from top to bottom of the cup and it does blend every single colour into each other. Right? It looks cool, but it is a very different look to... Like, it's all zigzaggy, but you can still see, right? So, experiment with your um, length of this. Yeah? Okay? <laughs> um, stroke, stroke is just... I can't, I can't do it. Um, you do need to spray seal before resin. Uh, because depending on the paint, the resin can heat up the paint again and then it just all runs into it and it sucks. Um, if you do stuff up at this stage, you can wipe it all off and then just wash the cup. That's why we spray paint it, right? Um, I've never tried it on a stainless steel base. If you want to try it on a stainless steel base, go for gold and let us know how it went. Um, but yeah, does anybody have any other questions? Because that's pretty much it for tonight. What do you do at the bottom of it? Uh, because this is majority purple around here, I'm probably going to put purple on the bottom. But I just wait till it's dry and I go with like a foam brush and fill it in with a single colour. And then from here, once it's all dry, I will spray seal it. 
Uh, I use Rust-Oleum two times in the satin or the gloss, um, depending on which one I can get my hands on. Once it's spray sealed, the first coat of resin that I put on it, um, I like to add a little bit of sparkle to it if it's for a girl. So because this is for a girl, I'm going to add sparkle to it. So I will put a tiny little bit of like a white pearl mica powder or a microfine glitter, just the tiniest little bit to give it a shimmer. Mix that into the resin, put the resin on. Once that's cured, I then go ahead and either put like my vinyl on it if it's getting a name or whatever on it. Um, and then I finish off with a final coat. And then it's done. Easy as. Could you use bigger balls for bigger stroke? You certainly could. Um, I prefer the little, well, they're not little. Um, they're about two mil, right? Um, the first one that I did would have been about double the size. So they were, right, um, think maybe two-thirds of the size of a bubblegum bead right it was about double the size of what I used tonight um, that was the one that I did two colors with and I didn't like it so it could have been because I used the two colors or it could have been that they were too big um, and then I've used like teeny teeny tiny ones as well just to see how it went I did that with three colors and I actually really liked it um, but I don't know out of all the ones that I've done the ones that I like the most like I've only done four but I've used this size twice well three times now and I'm just this is just what I prefer but that's what I said at the beginning of the live go out if you can buy them in a whole variety of different sizes right you know how and they usually have them on the counter of the op shops where they have all like the cheap costume jewelry and stuff go raid them um, just get a whole bunch of different sizes and have a play because you'll figure out what you like that's the beauty of it do all the color combos all the sizes mix it up we're done how long does it take the paint to dry before sealing Trisha I have no idea because honestly I usually do these ones at night um, and then when I wake up in the morning it's dry <clears throat> obviously I think it's going to you know depend on how humid it is and how warm it is and or in winter how cold it is like obviously if you do this in winter I, th I think this is going to take a little bit longer to dry it's pretty warm in here tonight but it's also like it's muggy warm like sticky warm so I mean by morning it'll be dry but I don't actually know exactly you are so welcome Joanne um next month we are doing um if anybody's seen the the stamping foil patina cups that are going around we're doing them but we're doing them two different ways so we're doing one style where we use the stamping foil <clears throat> and the other style we're going to use uh iridescent chameleon sheets so we're doing the same idea but two different ways uh, does it blend more overnight it doesn't move much um, it's not like inks Joe um, where you know it could look completely different um, it's not gonna move I mean this turner is old faithful I use her for tutorials and stuff because that's pretty much all I use her for um, is when I'm doing tutorials or I'm doing like design work while I'm watching YouTube or something but as soon as I'm finished doing what I'm doing I put it on the turners behind me um, so I think if it was on a turner like this, see how it moves and jumps and stuff, you might see a little bit more of a change. But once it goes onto the smoother turner, it won't move much at all. We love questions, Trisha. Don't ever apologise for questions. That's what we're here for. Um, basically, just wait until each layer dries and do the next. <clears throat> what do you mean by layer? Do you mean like step? Yeah. So once your paint dries, spray seal it. Once your spray seal dries, put your coat of resin on and so on and so forth. Does that make more sense? Christy, I've only made one so far, but they're so much fun. The, the foil patinas. Oh, they're so pretty. You're welcome, Joe. I think.
think that's it. Ta da! Okay, so I will get this finished and have it photographed and put it up in the group, hopefully by the weekend. But you guys know me, so yeah, it's coming. It'll be here. Might not be by the weekend, but I have every day. I'm pretty quiet this week. I made sure that I was pretty quiet this week because I've got um, stuff for my cousin's wedding to get done, so I didn't take on much for this week. Um, so I should be able to get it done because I've got no orders to do at night time until th Thursday. What's today? Tuesday, two days. I'll do it tomorrow. Pinky promise. Um, okay, we're done. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I am going to try and do at least one tutorial a month, or possibly two. Um, I'm very, very busy uh, with after school activities for the kids this year. Um, I was joking with Anna the other day that with all of the running around that I have to do, I plan to be a size 8 by Easter. And if I'm not, I'm going to be quite pissed off. Um, but yeah, at least once a month, um, and it will be on a Tuesday, because Tuesday is the only night that I am home in time to see you at 9pm. But like I said, the other girls are planning to come along and start going live in the next couple of weeks as well. And then we'll pick up like we did last year, where we're giving you regular content. Oh, right, thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you very much for being a part of the Aussie Tumblr Maker and Crafters community. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!